What's up everybody, Sean here from Premier Outdoor Living. I've had a lot of people ask me over the last couple of years about the design program that I'm using for our 3D renderings. It's called Punch Landscape Design. It's only about $60 and it's really pretty easy to use. So what I decided to do is put together a three part tutorial which is gonna take you through a design that I'm working on, show you all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the last couple of years to make it a little bit easier to create your first design. So in this first video, what we're gonna focus on is rendering the house, starting some of the basic shapes of the deck and the patio, and then you can tune into the next two videos to show you a little bit more of the process in finishing your design. So stay tuned, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys really like this tutorial. This is a picture of the house as it is now. So I met with the client, we talked about what they wanted. I have a really good picture in my head of the dimensions that I want to use um, and all that kind of stuff. So we always start with a picture of the original house. That way, you know, we know the location of windows, that kind of stuff. We can reference um, little details that we weren't sure of, but I've already taken all my measurements, so we should be good to go on that. So I'm going to open up landscape design here, go to file, new. This is just going to load some preset values. You can just hit OK, go to continue. And now we're in the workflow portion, so we're ready to start laying out the walls and start building the house. And then we can get to the deck, patio, landscape portion of this design. So I took measurements already. I know that the back wall is 36 feet doesn't necessarily matter how deep you make the house because we're not doing anything with the house besides the backyard. So we just need to make sure that the back facade of the house is as it appears in real life. So you can go over here to the 3D view. This is going to show you the four walls and right now I'm on this walking tool. I like to navigate using the fly around helicopter tool. It gives you a little bit of a better vantage point of the project. So this is our starting point. We have four walls. We're going to adjust the height of those. We're going to add a roof, doors, windows, and it's going to start looking pretty much what the house looks like now. So go back to 2D up here. We can go to, we want to go to window and then show inspector. That's this little toolbar here. So I'm going to click on my walls, go to info here. That's going to be my wall height. So I'm going to make the wall 17 feet <clears throat> and then what I can do is add some doors. We have two doors, two sliders on this project. So I'm going to go to the door tool. I'm going to go over here, um, pick the slider. I'm going to adjust the width to six feet and I'm going to place one over here and one over here. Now we want these there's about two feet from the corner of the house to each door. So the center of that door should be about six feet from the edge of the house. So now my two doors are good. One thing I'm going to want to do is adjust how high they are. They're about 15 inches off the ground. So I'm going to click on them, go to elevation, change both of them to 15 inches. So I've just done a couple little modifications and now you can see we have taller walls, we have two doors in here. I'm going to add a couple windows. So we have three windows on this. One here, one here, and one over here. These two outside windows are on the second floor. So what I'm gonna do is put them at about 11.6, that looks perfect. Go to this one, make this 11.6. And what you can do is just type in 11.5 and then the foot mark and it'll go to 11.6. So I'm just gonna move this one over a little bit. Let me check my drawing, okay. So we have one over there, one's about here and then we have one on the first floor which is a little smaller. Um, 
And let's see, we're gonna make it about three and a half feet off the ground. We'll change that to four and a half feet. So that looks pretty good. Um, we really just wanna make sure that the downstairs windows are in the right spot and the doors. That's what's really gonna affect our design. The upstairs windows, they don't matter too much um, where they're at as long as it's pretty close. So the last thing I'm gonna to do to the house is add a roof. This is pretty easy. You just go to the roof tab here. You click on this. Uh, this is just for a regular A-frame roof. And all you have to do is just drag it right across. And there we have our roof. We're gonna change the elevation to 17 feet so it sits on top of the walls. And we're gonna change the roof pitch to a four. So there you go. You can see we have the general outline of the house. It looks pretty close to what it looks like. The doors and windows are in the right location. So now we can start building our outdoor living space. So I already have the dimensions in my head of what this thing's gonna look like. Um, I've drawn it out on paper a little bit to get the general layout. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a, let's see, a nine and a half foot, or no, this is um, eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet for this deck. And all I do is just go to this deck tool. There's two options, deck and deck without railing. I always add the railings later with the railing tool. So you can start off by doing that. Let me just zoom in and straighten this out a little bit. Okay, so that's our one deck. We're also going to have a 16 by 16 area. So 16. By 16. And what I'm going to do is change the height to 18 inches on both of these decks. So I'm going to lower them a little bit. They're preset at two feet. So here we have the basic layout of the deck. Now I'm going to add some stairs. I'm also going to add the patio on this side. There's going to be a walkway that wraps around the front of it. So I'm going to start drawing that stuff in. So let's see, we're gonna to go to the landscape tab, go to the patio tool up here. And this patio is going to come across to the edge of the house, which is just about 12 feet. And I'm going to come out about 14 feet. So that's gonna be our sitting area. We also have a, um, a walkway that goes all the way around the front of this deck. So I'm gonna also use the patio tool for that. <clears throat> and this is gonna be four and a half feet wide. So let's get right around. Okay, that's close enough there. So seven, six, I want this to be even all the way around. So I'm gonna to go to 12 feet so that we have a four and a half foot walkway all the way around the deck. Let's see, we have 20. So I'm gonna to go to 24, nine. And that's gonna give us an even walkway all the way around. So I'm just gonna finish this off here and let's see <clears throat> i like to adjust the thickness of the patio um, we're going to be doing some borders that lay on top of the patio so what i do with the first step is put it down to a quarter inch so it basically just sits flat on the ground uh, it just looks a little bit better that way so now you can see the general layout we have here we have um, kind of two deck areas we have this sitting area on the patio and then we have a walkway that goes around it I've also incorporated two stone walls on both of these outside corners. So I'm gonna draw those in 
and then we're gonna add some landscape beds, and then I'm gonna start working on some of the details of this project. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the detail uh, tab here, and as you can see, the deck disappeared, so what you just need to do is go to 2D, plan visibility, and I'm gonna hit deck plan. So the deck plan, as well as the landscape plan and the floor plan are all visible in the detail tab. So I'm gonna do two square planners on this corner, and what I wanna do is have them basically centered right on the corner of this deck. So we're gonna do about eight and a half feet in both directions. That's my outline for the landscape bed. Now what I'm gonna do is copy that. You can just go up to edit copy, which is Clover C on a Mac. Now I have two of these and I have another landscape bed going out on this outside corner. So this one's gonna go right about here. And what I can do is just trace those now, go back to the landscape tab. I'm gonna go to the edging tool. That's the easiest way to make walls in this program. So now I'm just gonna trace the outside here. And just like that, I have some edging. I'm gonna adjust the depth to one foot, adjust the height to nine inches, and now I'm gonna draw in my other one. So again, I'm gonna change this to 12 inches, adjust the height to nine, Okay, now let's see what that looks like. So now we have two landscape beds, two raised landscape beds, because we're gonna have another landscape bed on the corner here, uh, on the other side of the patio, which is not gonna be raised, but it will have some edging on it. So let's see, we're gonna go back to the edging tool. And this time, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start right here. We are going to, let's see what this depth is. We have about, four and a half feet. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna come out four and a half feet. Even it up with the house. And that's our other edging. What I'm gonna do, this is basically gonna be a Belgian block edging. So I'm gonna do five inch depth and five inch height to mimic a Belgian block edging. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mulch to these areas. That's going to be in this tool, which is the ground fill region. So we're just going to fill in this landscape bed. Just like this. Pretty easy. Now you can see we have mulch in one area, which is pretty cool. So it's starting to kind of look like something. I'm going to add some more mulch beds here inside this raised planter. The only trick here with this, we have it sitting on the ground. It's, it's checked right here, float above topography. So I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna put it two inches below the top of our wall. So that's gonna be at seven inches. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Uncheck that, put that at seven inches. And now it's really kind of starting to come together. So I'm gonna to add some steps. I'm gonna add railing. We have border going in on the deck. We also have border going in on the patio. So I'm gonna start doing all of that aspect now. So I'm gonna start with the steps. So with the type of steps that we do, these really wide steps, they do have a step tool. Um, it's really better for just standard staircases. If you wanna do wide landings, that kind of thing, 
it's easiest to just use the deck tool and draw it out like you would a deck, um, a very small one. So we're going to go across nine and a half feet. I'm going to come out one foot for a riser. And that's one step. These can get kind of busy looking with all these dimensions. So with the steps, what I do is uncheck display dimensions and it's just going to make it look a lot cleaner. This is also going to be the first step. So this is going to be at 12 inches. So I'll change that. We're going to have steps in the corner here that wrap around. So what I'm going to do is draw this other section here. Again, remove the dimensions from it so it doesn't look too cluttered. We are going to go back to the deck tool here. This will be our bottom step. Okay. Take away the dimensions. This one's only going to be at six inches. And we have one more here. Okay. So let me just draw in these steps on this side real quick. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the steps in there. Take away the dimensions, and this is our first step, so that's going to be at 12 inches, and then our our bottom step is going to be at 6 inches. Okay, so let's take a look at that. You can see we now have steps that wrap around this corner up to that door, and then we have steps coming down this side here. So this is going to be a grill area on this side, dining set here, we're going to have a sectional in this corner with a little fire pit. So we're going to start adding those elements, um, starting with railings and that kind of thing. And I'm also going to be adding the border here. So that's it for part one of this three part tutorial. Stay tuned for the next video where we go into more depth about finishing off this design. Now if you haven't already, please subscribe, please like this video, and leave me a comment about any questions you might have about this part of the process. Stay tuned for the next one. I hope you guys like it so far.